hello welcome to harsha sal star cafe that's going to keep you fast fun and happy explain the safeguards available against the arbitrary arrest and detention article 22 of indian constitution is about the protection from arbitrary arrest and detention in a way article 21 and 22 are complementary to completely adopt and enact rule of law and for the benefit of larger part of the society it is necessary to restrain liberty of some people but the restraint or arrest must happen on sound grounds to make sure of this we have article 22 there are a total of 7 clauses in article 22 clause 1 and 2 are about the punitive detention and clause 3 is about the exception and clause 4 to 7 are about preventive detention before learning the seven clauses let us learn the difference between punitive and preventive arrest or detention the objective of punitive is if anybody committed a crime already then the person will be arrested it means after the act or after the crime and in preventive it is to stop from happening of a crime they arrest the person before they commit the crime and in punitive it can be under any ordinary laws but in preventive they can be under only preventive detention laws and in punitive in maximum democratic countries the provisions for punitive detention is available but in preventive detention you can't find them in uh, most of the constitutions but even if they are there they are only applied in the time of emergency in india there are preventive laws which are applicable in normal and ordinary days also coming to 22 clause 1 22 clause 1 provides two safeguards. The first one is right to be informed of grounds of arrest and the second one is right to consult a legal practitioner. The first one after the arrest the detainee the person who is arrested is also known as detainee must know the grounds of arrest to let the detainee get the opportunity to prepare for defense or apply for a bail. And the second right let's learn it with an example case. Uh, Hussein Ara Khatun versus Home Secretary Bihar uh, the supreme court said that if any accused person is unable to appoint a legal practitioner due to poverty or any other reason this is their constitutional right and the person can demand free legal service from the state the essence of this right can be found in article 21 also article 22 clause 2 also talks about two rights the first one is right to be produced before a magistrate and the second one is no detention beyond 24 hours the first right is about if any person is arrested within 24 hours of taking the person into custody the person must be produced before a magistrate in this 24 hours travel and necessity time will be excluded and in the second right if the person is not produced within 24 hours then the person should be released if exceeded 24 hours in any case it is only possible in the judicial custody or nothing the four rights in article 22 clause 1 and 22 clause 2 are prevailed in punitive laws preventive detention the concept of preventive detention was not suggested by our constitutional frame makers it was introduced in india through british rule through the bengal regulation act and the defense of india act when we are making a constitution a constitutional frame makers focused on the matter that we are a new democracy new republic that's why we have incorporated the preventive detention concept but with few safeguards mentioned in 224 to 227 if violation of any of the safeguards it will be treated as violation of fundamental right but who can make preventive detention laws both center and state has the power to formulate the preventive detention laws center power was derived under 7th schedule list 1 they have exclusive power through which they can make preventive detention laws for defense foreign affairs and security of india state has got concrete power under 7th schedule list 3 that it can make laws along with center for maintenance of public order security of state and maintenance of essential services and to hear preventive detention cases an advisory board is formulated article 22 clause 4 says that no law providing for preventive detention shall authorize the detention of a person for a longer period than 3 months unless 
Advisory Board has reported before the expiration three months that there is, in its opinion, sufficient cause for such detention. If Advisory Board agrees to extend more than three months, but only till the maximum time period mentioned in that preventive detention under which arrested. It cannot extend more than that fixed period of time. 22 Clause 5 talks about two rights, that is, right to be informed and right to representation. In 22 Clause 5, against preventive detention, two safeguards are provided. The first one is all the basic information and all the material facts on what basis preventive detention happened and all grounds must be told to the detainee. And the second right is, along with information, it is the duty of government to provide right to representation of the detainee. But all the information which is supposed to be told to the accused, if told, may compromise the public interest. So, 22 Clause 6, against public interest, nothing in Clause 5 shall require the authority to disclose facts which such authority considers to be against the public interest to disclose. 22 Clause 6 says that there is no need to give any such kind of information to the accused. 22 Clause 7 is about, it gives Parliament the power to decide the answer to the following questions. The three questions are, in which cases can the three months limit be extended? Question number 2, which procedure will advisory board follow for procedures? Question number 3, what is the maximum time prescribed in different preventive detention cases? All these will be decided by Parliament through the power given under Article 22, Clause 7.